So hi guys and welcome to my very first plan with me and uh, bear with me because this is my very first video for doing a voiceover. So I'm going to get started with the uh, type of planner that I chose to use and I am using a mini edition everyday essentials and um, it's mainly made for like like your everyday planning and I'm going to switch it over into a fitness wellness planner. So I start off by covering up celebrate with workout. Um, just because this is where I chose to uh, list my workout uh, routine. I chose Spark People's Bikini Workout just because um, it comes in three different levels which is perfect for the months of June, July, and August. And this workout I've used for the past couple summers just because it helps motivate me to keep moving and not become stagnant and basically lazy during the summer. Uh, I then uh, <laughs> I choose to pencil in my writing before I write with a pen just because my writing is generally sloppy and I make a lot of mistakes. So I'm just more confident with how my end result is going to turn out um, if I write it in with pencil first. So just in case if you're wondering what I was doing here. Um, uh, here we go. That's my favorite pen in the world right there. And I love the gray color just because it looks like pencil lead in the like the finished result, but I get the permanence of ink. And I also love the fact that it dries really quick and it doesn't smear on my pages. So I'm going to finish up filling in my workout here. And once I'm done with this, I decide, well, I got to clean up my mess too. There we go. Again, like I said, lots of mess, mess, mess. Going to have lots of eraser things there. So, all right. Um, I want to bullet down here under my monthly goals. And if I was thinking ahead of time here, I would have measured uh, where these lines ended up. But as you will see, I did not. <laughs> but I will admit, I did find the perfect shade of bullet, which there she is right there, a perfect peach color. And um, I, <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see what hassle this gives me. But um, I, I line it up to the edge as close as possible and not thinking that I'm working with a mini since this is my very first mini, um, the, the writing lines are not going to match up in a mini. <laughs> or, or yeah, the classic size bar is not going to match for a mini. So I start writing in my monthly goals, which I believe are like complete my workout just because normally I'll set up a workout and I'll never actually do it. Um, the second one was probably, I think I want to spend more time outside, so I want to go outside like a workout at least once a week. Um, I want to drink more water. And here we go. This is me realizing what happened. And I'm trying to rip it off the page and yep, stickers started tearing. So I'm like, nip, you stuck with him because he's the only peach one. So I go to my handy dandy colorful boxes sticker pack, which is amazing. And I find a color that I like. And of course, again, it's not the right size. So I decide, hey, I'll make it the size I want. So I'm going to cut it in half, line it up with that dot there. And here's the big mistake I made with this. When you do this for yourself, make sure you cut towards one of those ends instead of going across the middle because it makes a very difficult and bumpy surface to write across. But hey, whatever, it's going to look great in the end for now. Um, here I am filling out my goals again and I'm going to need another one of those boxes. So I learned from my first mistake <laughs> and here we go, cutting more towards the edge and I'm placing that box right in there and I'm going to line those edges up and there we go, got the second box. So finish penciling in my goals here and when I'm done, I'm going to write them in with my favorite pen and get those suckers in there permanently. So. I'm really excited about actually having a fitness planner, which I've used lots of fitness apps and they're great and I love the things that they do, but I just can't get myself motivated to check 
them every day where I've noticed that I'm actually like excited to check my happy planners every day. So I'm hoping that this makes a big difference in the way I view and plan my fitness routine. Um, I also want to note that I didn't write in my dates or any of my current leads yet, just because I want to wait closer to the first of the month um, to get a more accurate uh, recording of what these are, since I'm recording this ahead of time to share this video with you. Um, I'm going to move on to the monthly page here. Uh, just a quick note, I'm using my monthly layout uh, to track my daily moods, which if you're familiar with the Remente app, um, you go on once a day and you track if you had like a good or bad day and there's five different levels. So I pretty much took the stickers from that app or well, not the stickers. I took the smiley faces from that app and I made my own sticker bar and I put that there on the edge. Now, um, this is my first undated planner as well. So a lot of first in this video. And um, this is my first time working with these little tiny date stickers. And God, these things were a booger to get off that page and work with. But they just look so cute once they're put together. And I just, I don't know what it is. There's something satisfying after looking at what was a blank layout and realizing what you created at the end of it. So... As you can see, this is a tedious process because you have to rip each and every single one of those little guys off one by one, place them in those boxes. But hey, you know, we're making our own monthly layout. And I just, I love the versatility of these undated planners. There's, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be buying a lot more of these here in the future. And I don't know if any of you were aware of this, but this is a 2018-2019 version planner. <laughs> or, well, no, maybe a little bit older than that. I think it might be a 1718, which we will find out here because I have to cover up the calendar page later on. So, again, don't throw away your old outdated planners. They can be repurposed. So, thank you, Happy Planner, for making your products um, easily I don't know, just easy to create whatever you want and need at that moment. I mean, they they are just wonderful and customizable. Now, um, you're going to also notice that I don't put June 30th on the bottom here. Like normally you would like slice that day right in half right there, the 23rd, and put the 30th on the bottom. But since this is a mood tracker, I'm going to put June 30th in with my July layout just because I can't track two days moods in one box, it just wouldn't let me graph it correctly. Which I believe I'm about to show you what this is supposed to look like here once it does start getting filled in. Which yes, I am a dork and I scan uh, my planner before I start working in it. <laughs> Uh, this is me trying to show it and I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to show you my page. So yeah, there's my scanned image and you basically just take a dot each day and we're going to draw a line and start creating a graph to uh, show how our mood fluctuates during the month. And uh, again, I'm going to stick my just a general summary of my workout on my notes bar. Uh, I'm going to show how long it's going to take, how many calories I'm going to be burning during it. And I decided that I'm going to put a focus on my mind and my body also in the notes area. And uh, I also want to point out that I'm loving this color from the watermelon and it's like a pinky red color. And I'm finding boxes that kind of match it, but I felt like it was too much. So I decided I'm going to go back to that green so I went out and, uh, yeah, I went out. So I, I went and found um, those size boxes, but in the, uh, the green color that I was working with. And I just need to cut and size them again to fit the mini size note bar, which I'm sure these things would probably fit perfectly in a classic size. But hey, we are working in a mini. So we got to be a little bit more creative with this one. So I'm going to try to fit this guy up here and line him up as evenly as possible. And there we go. Perfection. And then we're going to be uh, putting on this edge here. And again, you got to rip them off sometimes, you know. It just doesn't work the first time. 
And a couple more tries. And I think I get them lined up here. See those tweezers? Oh, tweezers come in handy. Definitely when you got little chubby fingers like me. So um, there you go. There's my first box. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. And again, try to cut as close to that edge as possible so that you don't get a bumpy writing surface. And I want to see how I line these up against my little smiley faces there. And hopefully I have a lot of excited smiley faces for this month. I'm just, I'm really hoping that June goes well. Normally the summer is not a good time for me, but I'm feeling different about it this year. And I feel like these Happy Planner products have something to do with that. So again, thank you, Happy Planner. You are making this a wonderful year. And here I'm going to show my uh, focus for my body for the month of June, and it's work it all. And at the time that I was recording this, I did not know what I was going to focus my mind on. But I went through my Headspace app, and I decided that I'm going to focus on motivation for the month of June, just because I feel like it fits in with the whole new workout challenge for the month. So who doesn't need motivated? So there you have it, my completed monthly spread. And I'm going to put this baby right back in there. And I'm going to pull out my weekly sheets, making sure I'm working with the right one here. And it turns out that the 1st of June is a Saturday. <laughs> so I really only need to set up two days <laughs> to complete this video, <laughs> which is great because it's not really too much for me for the first time here. And it's going to let me see two different ways of setting this up. Because at first I was like, yeah, I'm going to make every day the same thing, put all the workouts here, put all the meal plans here. And then I was like, man, that's going to be boring. And we don't want boring. We want to keep this interesting and different. And so you're going to see here that I am going to stick. Oh, 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 I can't forget him. Uh, this is my life assessment wheel, which was also taken from the Remente app, which here we go. If you won't stick. But uh <laughs> Again, you know, if it doesn't go on right the first time, try it again. Uh, I love this wheel for the fact that it helps you track different life areas, such as relationships, finances, uh, social, leisure time. So I just like to see the fluctuations that change with it over time. Now, all right, getting back to that pinky red color, because I'm loving the color of that watermelon, and it is such a June color. So I'm going to pick a workout box just because he is kind of short and he fits right under the day of the month. And I found a workout log that is the same color. So I'm sticking with that theme here for the first day. And uh, yeah, there you go. See, look how short he is. So I'm going to put, oh, I love sticking my stickers on those discs when I'm in waiting. <laughs> so that's a good, that's a good purpose for them while you're decorating. I have to lift up on my one just to put the sticker down, but I'm going to line it up with that edge, which I'm not really sure about at first, but after a while I start to like it. So I'm like, just deal with it and we'll make it work. Because that's, that's what you do. That's what you do when you're planning. So, all right. So I got my workout and I got my meal plan for the first day. And I want to track my waters. And at first I was sticking with that pinky red color. And it just, it got to be too much pinky red. So I was like, yeah, we're going to take a break for that. And we're going to start working on day two. It just felt like I was hitting like a wall. Now, I also want to track my step count, too. And that's when I came across, it was a gold-colored steps from the fitness pack. And I was like, man, how can I use this? You know, like, so I went back to the colorful boxes sticker pack because I remembered that there was those little black skinny boxes. And I was like, that would go with that perfectly. And then for some reason, that reminded me that I'm not doing my workout every day. I have to alternate it with a level of cardio. So it'd be like day one workout, day two cardio, and they alternate with Friday being my day off. So I was like, oh my God, I need to put like a miles tracker on these other days. And I found this cute little black walk it off um, saying sticker. And I was like, oh my God, he's cute too. So I kind of had to peel off my mile sticker back on. I went to put it on straight and I was like, nah, that's, that's boring. 
we don't want that. So I took them off and just kind of played around with it there a little bit. And then I was like, nah, I'm going to put it on there slanted. Because it gives like that same size as the workout sticker above, but it's different. So there we go. I did, he looks cute. So I put him on and I was like, okay, well, you're going to need to do your steps. And then I still need to get a water tracker for down below. And I'm like, okay, how can I track my meals? Because now I'm going to end up with like a meal box on each side. And I'm like, that would be boring. There's my gold step sticker. See, look how cute he is. All right. So we're going to pair him up with that black box like I was talking about. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to keep him down here because he just has too many boxes up there. So I put him down below and I'm like, oh my God, look how good that black and gold looks with the pinky red. So I chose the same pink color because I was like, yeah, you're getting too pinky red there. So I just chose a straight up pink steps um, tracker sticker and I'm going to match it with a red uh, H2O tracker just to kind of put some black up into that top box there. At least I think that's what I do next. It should be what I do next. Yeah, see there, there I'm like, nah, see that's, that's too much pink red. Yeah, it's too much. So there we go. Okay, there's the black one. And so we're going to stick him there. And I'm like, should I line him up next to that meal tracker? Should I put him there? And it's like, eh. And then it's like, nah, I want that white space in between. It's just too many stickers in one area. So we're going to space them out a little bit. And we're going to put those little steps on there. Got to make them even. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to add that step tracker. And see, now we broke up that pink-red color. So it's not just too much blah. So we got some pink and blacks. And now we got some golds. And now I'm realizing, like, hey, buddy, you still need your meal tracker down here. You might as well keep up with that gold and black down there. So I found a uh, black and gold uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner set. And at first I was trying to make a box. And this is where I realized, like, oh, my God, I could just do the little arrows. Like, I could just line them up. You know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in a row so that I actually eat it. So I'm going to line them up here like this and I'm like, oh my God, this is turning out. Look how cute they are. Flip them up a little bit. See? And then I realized uh, I'm a dork. I covered up that red spacer line and I don't like it. So you got to peel them off <laughs> and then you got to peel them back on. So put the sticker on, take the sticker off, put the sticker on. <laughs> Hopefully it stays on. And there we go. Now I'm liking that. And now I gotta put my water tracker on there. So I gotta lift my two up. And I chose to keep the pinky red one down there because I felt like I was starting to get too much of the black and gold. There we go. Gotta put that, move that two back down. And there we go. I kept them slanted. I'm liking them. And I do want to track something else in there. I'm just not quite sure what. Maybe like my mood for the day. Oh, here's my quote sticker that I chose since Friday is my off day. And that was kind of like a blank empty spot up there. I love that sticker just because it's workout because you love your body, not because you hate it. And it's like, you know what? We need to be more kinder to ourselves and just learn to like what you have. I mean, everything that you have is beautiful about you because it is you. So just... Don't take yourself for granted anymore and appreciate and love what you have, which is what I'm going to be doing with this tracker here because I do love everything that I have about my body and it just, it wasn't always like that and I don't know what it was, but something just snapped at me one day and I just feel amazing as who I am and I don't want to change anything about what or who I am at a appearance wise. Now, um, I'm using this note section as kind of got off track there, but um, I'm using the note section as a measurement area and I'm gonna do the standard ones such as the bust, waist, hips, measurements, um, just to see how uh, like my eating in this workout actually do change my body, if any, uh, I'm hoping, you know, that it doesn't harm it. And if it does start harming it, we are going to cease immediately. Um, I'm also, I doubt that's going to happen though. Um, I'm also choosing to track my, uh, I believe it would be heart rate. 
uh, that's off the Samsung app. I love watching that. So I'm, I'm going to track that as well um, every week. And I also want to track my weight, which there we go. There's my little sticker. I forgot it the first time because <laughs> it's not really on my mind. So I had to go back and put them in there. Now, here's my workout dashboard that I ended up making. Just because I do have an alternating routine, I wanted to have something that I can move with me from week to week just to keep track of what I'm going to be doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not Friday because it's a rest day and Saturday and Sunday. Now, I also realized that I have this empty blank page. Um, so what am I going to do with this thing? Uh, so I ended up taking more of that pink ombre paper that I have and I'm just going to glue it to the back of this. So I'm going to kind of Frankenplan for the first time. So we're getting lots of firsts. And I just kind of smooth it out there, kind of get those things to gel. And now I about crap myself just because this is my first time sticking an already punched paper in the puncher. But check it, it comes out perfectly. And now I'm going to turn this page into a before picture page, which was something that I have always forgot to do before starting a workout challenge. I think it's like something that everybody does at first and then they don't do the workout where I actually completed the challenge and said, oh my God, I forgot to take the before picture. Like, how are you supposed to compare what you're doing <laughs> if if you don't have a before and after picture? Because I really don't take lots of pictures of myself, so I'm going to have to start. <laughs> Now, I started to put stickers on the page and I was like, no dude, don't do this because I don't have that picture yet. I'm going to take it on June 1st. So I had to get a picture of my cat. I know, right? Because I don't have any pictures. He's adorable. And I took an empty sticker page and I just want to get like a general idea of how I am going to lay these out once I do have my picture. So I'm just going to kind of figure out where I'm placing them and I'm just gonna leave them on this empty sheet until I get my picture and get everything put in there. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side and I'm liking how this is looking, all right? And then it hits me like, oh my God, you know, this. I still have May in here, I still have April and February and you know, all those other months that we just went through. So I had to pull all those out and this is where we're going to find out what year this planner was from. There you go, 2017, 2018. So we're just going to glue these pages together because I don't need that. And there you have it. Hey, you. So, hey, got a nice planner right now. And again, I'm going to put your photo in there. Now we got to flip through these ones. And I know I love you, pinky note page. You look so cute, but I don't need you, so I have to cover you up. I'm sorry. So, all right. So, we're going to add in January, and we're going to put in some February. And we got to add in all those months again to the back of the planner since we are starting in June. And, oh, God, he's adorable. And uh, <laughs> can't wait to see that one. <laughs> and uh, there you have it. So we're at the end. And as you can see, I love this planner so much. I got two of them, which since they are outdated, I got a great price. I think I paid like $7 a piece for these. And it just shows that it doesn't matter when the planner was made. You can still use it. So if you like what you saw, please visit me at stitchpiration.com to see more of what I have to offer. Um, thank you for watching and happy planning.